running late has become almost a signature for me. Like I talked the other day about I have a signature belt and I believe you should have a signature in your life. Running late has become almost a signature for me. It's one of the reasons I run with these headphones on. Not just because I get to listen to the coolest music in the world from the coolest generation in the world. I was just listening to Hold On just then. Um, but um, also because people can call me on the telephone. On my run just now, I talked to my son John for about a mile and a half of the run. It was really nice. He got to tell me about the concert they were at last night and how much fun they had had. And it's just a way to kind of stick a little bit more time into my day. This morning I had an appointment with a sharp young guy and his fiance that I'm going to be marrying next month. And he wanted to set the appointment for 8 o'clock. And I said, no, no, no. I said, let's make it 10 o'clock. He said, well, why 10 o'clock? I said, well, because I don't know how long I'm going to be out running. And I don't get in from Mexico until I don't know what time Wednesday night. He says, oh, okay, Pastor. I totally understand. I don't want to cut into your run. And as I've gotten older, I've just learned that, you know, there's an awful lot of our schedule we can put on our time. And if you haven't learned that yet, it's something that you should learn. Your time is important because it's your time. And you only have so much time left. <laughs> and the older we get, it's just reality. There is only so much time left. And the things that you love to do, the things that you want to do, well, if you need to cram on some headphones so you can talk while you're running, do it. If you need to make sure to text someone, tell them that, hey, I miss you and I appreciate you, do it. I texted my buddy Brad last night some incredible video of Skeleton Bay in Africa, the surfing. I said, man, can you imagine if they had had this when we were in our 20s? We would have moved there and never come home. He texted me back and said, yeah, incredible. We would have gone there, but I still loved 56th Street. And so I just texted him back and I said, thank you for all the moments and all the mornings. Today, take a minute just to thank someone. Thanksgiving's not for a couple months, and we're going to be working hard to get ready for it. But take a minute just to take, text someone and say, hey, thanks. Your part in my life is of insane value to me, and who you are is important to me. Because when we become thankful people, we become people who are living in the miracle. And I want you to be the miracle today in everything you say and do. I want you to know I'm thankful that you clicked in. I'm thankful that you're watching. Have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing. Um, and call me in the morning. You might catch me on my run. Have a great day. I got an appointment at 10.